What if I tell you to take action today and you can save more than 100,000? If this sounds appealing to you, watch on. Hi, I'm Joanna and many people have been asking me, how's the property market? Shall I wait and see? I've been getting the same question since 2013 when TDSR was first introduced and buyers have to incur 7% ABSD for the second property. Then came 2018 when the next wave of cooling measure hit again and ABSD was increased to 12%. Maximum loan dropped from 80% to 75%. And then COVID came and I get the same question. It's so common to hear. Let's wait and see. Let's see how the property market has performed over the last five years. Amidst the uncertainty, overall average prices have increased 23%. So what is the impact? In 2016, if a 35 years old couple were to take action, they would be able to enter a 3 bay condo at $1 million in the outside core region. At a purchase price of $1 million, they will have to come up with stamp duty $24,600. They will have to come up with 5% cash down payment, which works out to $50,000, 15% CPF down payment, $150,000. The total outlay will work out to $224,600, installment of $2,761 a month. If they decided to wait and see, Fast forward, today they will be 40 years old. Due to the property price increase, they will likely have to pay 1.23 million for a similar property. Let's break it down. At a purchase price of 1.23 million, stamp duty will have increased to $33,800. 5% cash down payment, $61,500. 20% CPF down payment, $246,000. And an increase in total outlay to $341,000 increase in installment 3,689. The same couple will have to come up with an extra of $116,000. And this is not even factoring the opportunity cost if they had taken action a few years ago. They will be sitting on 230,000 profits made from the property. So does it pay to wait and see? But fret not, there are still opportunities where we can spot undervalued properties. Seize the opportunity, contact me for a personal consultation and you can potentially save yourself hundreds of thousands.